All right guys, now we're gonna hop in the virtual space. So I'm gonna show you how to get into Tinkercad and how to navigate through the virtual environment. One of the things that I'm strongly gonna recommend you get before you get started is a mouse. This mouse is gonna help you navigate through the virtual environment a lot better than a trackpad would. So let's hop into it. Alrighty, let's hop right back into Tinkercad here. So we'll hop in and we'll just review how to sign in. Now you've ha you have your account. So you click on the sign in tab and that'll bring you to the space where you enter your email. And I am entering at i3dcreatives.com and my password is Is it right? Nope, wrong. Try it again. There we go. Hey, I'm in. Okay, so now that I'm in, we're gonna go to create new design. So that'll take us right back into the space. So now we're back into our design space here. So what we're gonna do here we're gonna take the box and we're gonna place the box in the drawing grid. Just like we kind of went over in the last lesson, placing your object, just click and place it into the design space. So now we've got an object in there, but we wanna move it, right? So we're gonna cover this a few times, but how this works is there's an X, a Y, and a Z axis. So when I drag the object, it, moves in the X and Y direction only. So when I click on it and I drag it, it only moves in the X and Y direction, okay? So you'll probably see the X and Y axis in math class with things like graphs. So this is, we're moving it along the X and the Y. Here, let's set it up and see. So the X and the Y. So, on top of the X and Y, we can also move it up or down in the Z direction. So that's what a three-dimensional space is. You can move it in the X, the Y, 2D, but then we add 3D. We can move it in the third dimension. So, now we're moving objects. We're just gonna delete this guy and we're gonna get started on another part. So I'm just gonna insert a box. So I just click on the box and then click on the drawing grid wherever I want it to be placed in. And then I'm gonna add a round roof here. So this round roof I'll just insert anywhere. It doesn't matter where it goes because what we're gonna do is we're going to align them. So we'll select both of them by dragging our mouse across the screen and selecting both at the same time. And then up here in the adjust box we have the align tool. So the align tool allows me to make them make the two objects be aligned with each other. So you'll see when I click here they'll both go into that alignment with each other and when I click on this middle one they're now joined okay so now I have them perfectly put together I can highlight that bottom rounded roof and I can just drag it up and I can come up and you'll see now I can then zoom in using the zoom and orbit and pan to get a good look I can see I'm not perfectly in line with it. So one thing that would actually help is I can change the snap grid down here to, it should be one, okay. So I should snap down and now you can see, I think they're joined. No, a little bit. So I'm off by one, so I need to go down to point one. You shouldn't have to do this. Bang, okay. 
So now I'll change that back to one. So I was just 0.1 millimeters away there. So I changed my snap grid to be 1.1 so I could move it 0.1 millimeters. We're gonna cover that later. That was just kind of a, an accident, those silly accidents. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert a roof in here and we're just gonna do this again. So we're gonna select all of the objects. We're gonna go to the adjust align command and then we'll just toss these together. Bang, oops, made a mistake. Adjust, align, bang, bang, together. Okay, so I don't know, I don't really know what we got there. We just got a whole bunch of objects. Looks kind of funny. So now we know how to move the objects with the align command. Good job. Awesome work, guys. In the next lesson, we're going to discover how to move and change objects and where they are in the virtual space. Um, of the Tinkercad launch pad. Welcome. Welcome to